Bank will be the latest to test out the biometric technology on a payment card. The tech is already being tested in markets worldwide, including South Africa, Middle East, Italy, and in some U.S. banks. But how exactly does it work? Meredith Wood reports. From facial recognition software at airports and on phones to voice recognition on smart home devices. Hey, Google, remind me to clean these sheets later. Okay, I'll remind you. <laughs> Biometrics have become part of a consumer's everyday life. As far as payment options go, biometric technology is used for services like Apple Pay and Android Pay. And now Visa and MasterCard are adding biometric sensors directly to credit and debit cards. A natural progression making smooth transactions accessible to people without smartphones and increasing security for payment cards. These prototype cards feature embedded fingerprint sensors that capture and match the cardholder's print to a digital image stored on the card. No need for a signature or PIN. If a fingerprint can't be verified, the cardholder still has the option to insert or swipe the card and then authenticate with a signature or PIN. The fingerprint image is encrypted and stored on the card's chip, not with the merchant. So if the business gets hacked, fingerprint images cannot be reverse engineered by hackers. And while security and ease of use are touted by credit card companies, getting the card set up is cumbersome. Unlike digital wallets stored on smartphones, consumers using biometric cards must get their fingerprints registered at a bank or a physical kiosk. For Consumer Watch, I'm Meredith Wood.